What's up, guys? Welcome back to Smoking UK, where we review, communicate, and educate on all things tobacco. Today, we're joined by someone who's basically becoming part of the furniture here, to be honest, Mr. Archie Collins, and we're going to bring him over to the dark side of pipe smoking. Let's run the intro, and let's do it. <laughs> so, Archie, thank you for coming here and being on the channel. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. It's no problem at all. So we uh, we met last month in the July 2024 event, Smoking a Cigar. So. We we did. We we did. It was a wonderful event. There was loads of people there, and uh, I, I seem to have all the raffle tickets. Anyone would think it was fixed. <laughs> I think there was a few people chanting fixed. <laughs> there was. There was. I felt a bit bad, but I just bought 10 off the bat. <laughs> it, well, it wasn't. It was like, you know. You got your value for the money. Yeah, yeah no, I, no, I did. Uh, some, some, there, there was some gin. There was a cat. There was, uh, and there was also a a, a a cigar holder, which was brilliant. That's worth a few bob as well. You yeah, 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 yeah. So we all know you like cigars. What made you want to dabble in the world of pipes? Well, yeah. well, you know what? I think the, for me, when I think pipes, I think of, you know, um, when I, when I was younger, and still now, to be honest, I was obsessed with Sherlock Holmes, right? I think that's where it all stems. Still am, happy. right? And and I've just got that image of uh, uh, of Sherlock Holmes sitting in a you know a very comfortable chair, smoking a massive, huge, probably too big <laughs> pipe. And and you know what? I've smoked cigars, and you get so much flavour. You get you know yeah. You get so much character out of a cigar, yeah, and and it, and it is a it is a, a a very good way of showing who you are as a person. Absolutely, right? And 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 and, and the cigar says something about you, but actually, the pipe does that to another level, right? Completely. Because it's not just you know, it's something. Not just unique, but like super unique. Do you know what I mean? Especially in the modern day, absolutely. It's it's great to see more younger people getting involved yeah. with it. And yeah. it's slowly breaking the stigma that it's an old man. Yeah. You still get the looks. Yeah. Like I'm 27 and I'm walking around and around the park, local parks, looking at them. But, but I I have actually, as a as 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 a young guy, relatively young anyway. I feel like I'm in my 70s, but Tell me about that's it. another thing. Um. <laughs> As a, as a, as a, as a as a young guy, you know, I'm seeing more and more people, you know, in their you know in their thirties, forties, even twenties. You know, I'm I'm 22, but uh, even you know in their in their in their twenties, smoking pipes, getting into pipe smoking, and I've never got into it. I know very very little about it. Um, that's way perfect for the video. But uh, that's why I've come along. You suggested wonderful idea, you know. Another opportunity to come smoke, King. Yeah, exactly. Another opportunity to get a good party. Because we've got some uh, good party tobaccos lined up for you to have a yeah. good old whiff. Uh, well, Claire, uh, Claire um, um, got a few down to f for me to smell when I was last here. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's, you know, I mean, she only, she only showed me a few, like one or yeah. two. But they smelled amazing. And I, can't, I couldn't tell you which one's... She got down. I could not tell you, but um, wow, it was it was brilliant. The beautiful thing about pipe tobacco is, I think, uh, if you as an outsider looking in, everyone thinks tobacco is tobacco, whether it's a cigar or a pipe, they think it's the exact same thing. Where it's two completely different flavor profiles. You'll you'll notice it today when we yeah. up, you you you'll think it should taste like a cigar, and it tastes nothing like it. And it's and I don't know about you, when I smoke a cigar, I feel like there's Part of the relaxation is the ritual. It's yeah. finding that cigar. It's using the cutter that's to your personal preference. It's yeah. lighting it the way you yeah. light it. Yeah. Where pipe smoking brings in like a whole new ritual. Yeah. I have a rule. Anyone can smoke a cigar, you earn your pipe. Yeah. And it's a shame because a lot of people get into it and they don't learn how to smoke the pipe properly. Yeah. They put it down and they go, oh, I, don't, I don't want to touch it. Well, it's its own unique, beautiful yeah. thing. Well, I actually think there was something that was... Uh, I heard something, and I can't remember where from, but uh, it was on on an on a on, on a video. Unfortunately, not one of yours, but um, which I'll 
very good. But um, I, I, I saw this thing, and 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 it was, it was. I think it was in conversation with Gemma, um, Gemma Friedman of um, of um, Hunters and Frank Out. That, yeah. That's it. Um, and um, she was saying smoking a cigar shouldn't actually be called smoking. Yep. Because that's not what you're doing. You're tasting, you're reflecting, you're thinking, you know, but, and, and, and that's how I imagine a pipe, but I imagine it with a pipe. It's that on another level. Right. Yeah. So it is, so it's reflective and, you know, you're engaging all of your senses, but you're doing that, you know, on yeah. another level uh, and you're you're completely right you own your pipe right and every everybody i've seen you know either online or in, in person smoke a pipe they take such care and attention and you know it's a labor of love but not not like one that is you know, not one that's uh, burdensome or, you know, unpleasant, but one they take real pride in, one they have real joy in. Absolutely. You know, it's passion. Um, and, 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 and that is just something that, you know, how can I, how can I be someone who values, you know, time, care and attention, detail, you know, uh, craftsmanship, yeah. How can I be someone who values all of that and yeah. not not try and smoke a pipe and not actually learn how to do it properly? Yeah. Because with cigars, generally, and you will agree with me, I'm sure, is that if you leave someone to their own devices and they haven't looked into how to properly light, cut, you know, not in that order, but you know, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, many a times you know <laughs> if they rush into it and they don't take you know care and attention over it um then it will then it will massively affect their experience and and so you you have to allow yourself to be guided and 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 allow yourself to you know um to slow down and to be patient you know um and 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 that's just something that I think's really that that's really good. That's really attractive, yeah. you know. And you'll find that with pipes, you've definitely got to have the patience of a saint. Yeah, you, it, it's almost like uh, keeping a campfire going. Yeah. You're fine with a pipe. You have to puff on it more than you would a cigar. But if you puff on it too much, you'll get a tongue bite. It burns all your tongue. Yeah. But if you don't puff it on it enough. Oh. It goes out if you don't keep enough tension on the tobacco in the bowl throughout the smoke. This is why you have a pipe tool. It goes out, and I think this is what a lot of people get frustrated. So, pipes will teach you a lot. It's for me personally. It's taught me patience and in definitely enjoying the, the little things and the finer things. Yeah. Like the, the first day, I kept that bowl going for an entire session. Didn't go out. Yeah. I'd probably put it up there in some of the greatest experiences I've had. In, enjoying tobacco it teaches you the little yeah. final little thing yeah and that's what you get with a pipe yeah well i i you know and I, I think that's something really brilliant how you can have a variety of experiences much like with cigars you can have cigars that you enjoy and cigars that you don't and you can have cigars that speak for you and cigars that don't yep you know but 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 tobacco is even more uh, not tobacco um pipes are even more individual they're even more of a statement about who you are. Um, and, you know, and, and part of that is your attention and relationship with the pipe. Absolutely. And I've never smoked a pipe. That's why I'm here. But that is, uh, you know, something that, um, you know, even I can see from uh, the videos of yours that I've watched yeah. where, where, where you've smoked a pipe. Um, and 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 other videos and um you know people i've met uh, out in the you know out in the real world so to speak 
um, you know, who was smoking a pipe, and I'm seeing more and more people smoke a pipe, and that's 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 brilliant. Uh, you know, when when uh when when I catch a glimmer of somebody smoking a pipe in in, in public, I, I I know instantly that there is a shared kind of yeah. appreciation of quality of craftsmanship. Uh, that, that 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 there has been time given, yeah, and there has been an appreciation, which I I, I think is in you know in a world that in a world that's twenty four seven three six five going at you know a hundred miles yeah, an hour all the time, like yeah, you know it's something that's rare and it's something that is to be applauded, to be upheld, and to be supported. Absolutely, and and that was sort of one of the reasons why I started to. Uh, smoking cigars and I love cigars I've smoked hundreds um, but but I think pipes are going to take that to a whole other level well, and I, I'm, 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 I'm very much looking forward <laughs> to it and, uh, and, and and thank you for uh, bringing me to smoking which is brilliant and uh, which I which I, I, I love I love coming here it's, it's absolutely wonderful um, You're becoming part of the furniture. Well, though. well, yeah, you know. We've seen you in a few days as well. <laughs> I, I, well, I said to you, didn't I? I said, uh, you know, you've got the best job in the world. You know, yeah. you, you've got the best <laughs> job in the world, and you work. The, I mean, I've met the people you work with. They're the you know, they're, they're, they're the best. They're the best people on earth, and the um, the cigars that I order from here are, arrive in you know top quality. And the best condition, um, and you have a wonderful selection at, 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 you know, at probably some of the best prices I've seen. And so I, I can't. Yeah, especially I, you being going to London a lot and enjoying. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. So I, 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 you know, I can't imagine what getting into the world of, of, of pipes. How brilliant that's going to be, cheaper. That's, which <laughs> yeah. makes it even better. Yeah, yeah. So, but no, I, I, I can't wait. It's going to be really good, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really, uh, I've been really looking forward to it. Good. So, obviously, we're going to pick you a pipe out today. Yep. You kind of touched on it a little bit because you said you saw it in Sherlock Holmes. If you could image in your mind the perfect pipe for you, what color would it be? What kind of shape would it be? Would yeah. you want like? A straight pipe? Would you want it to be like more Sherlock Holmes with a bit of a bend in the well, stem? What, what in in your head? What well, do you see? This is pipe? that's a very that's a very good question, and I, I have actually given this some thought. Um, and I think for me, the pipe, the pipe almost has to be an extension of me. Now, absolutely. Um, um, my my whole body is does strange things right and it's completely unique and so i think um i think really what the pipe has to be is it has to be a easy for me to hold yeah uh b it has to look good i mean I, I i i i really doubt that a pipe especially one 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 that you'd sell here uh would look bad um, I, I I don't reckon so, and um, and yeah, no. Other than that, I'm in your hands. You know, you you you, you we can we can explore. We can have a look. Um, you know, I mean, I do think that I'd look a little bit ridiculous with a, you know, with a massive the big church warden. Yeah, like that bit. church warden. <laughs> that's it. Um, I think I think unless you have a massive beard, you always look stupid. Yeah. <laughs> then. No offense if anybody's watching, you have one. If, if, if that's mm -hmm. your thing, that's beautiful. But well, I, I, imagine I, me with one of them big things. I remember, I remember seeing um, these these church wardens uh, in the Jeremy Brett adaptation of uh, in in the Jeremy Brett adaptation of Sherlock Holmes. Yes. He smokes a church warden, um, and I do remember thinking at the time, you know. Oh come on! You know, like, you're like, 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 there's no, no one who's going to going to go into a shop and and but there but there is and that is we brilliant. Quite a lot of them. But that is br brilliant. You know, at first you might think there's no way, surely, but there is, and people love them. Because... It makes you then even more unique. Yeah, smoking a pipe makes you unique anyway. 
Yeah. yeah. To then smoke one like that. But, it's on but, a whole new level. But, but anyone who smokes a, you know, a church warden, I mean, massive respect. You know, you do you. You've got obviously, you've obviously, you know, you've, you've thought about it and, 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 you know, you know that it's an extension of you. And that is perfect. That's exactly what it's supposed to be. Absolutely. You know, well, saying that, should we cut it here and go find you a pipe? Come on, then, let's, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Right, welcome back, guys. It's been a bit of an adventure finding you your pipe, which we will show on camera in a few seconds. Been good, though, isn't it? <laughs> for a quick second, although we were talking about it and taking the mic, I thought you was going to go for a church warden. I, uh, you know what? I genuinely, <laughs> I, 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 I held one, and all became clear. It was, it was brilliant. No, no, no. Honestly, my mind was blown because I held one, and I said to you, didn't I? I said this is really comfortable. Yeah, it's really good. You know, I can hold it. You know, I've got quite big hands, so you know, it was but, almost like the perfect. But bike. but you know, and and if it was more convenient, you know, to take places and to actually smoke, yeah, I I would have. I I, I think <laughs> I would have chose yeah. it. You'd need almost like a suitcase just to take. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. No, no, you would. But I think we, we so we landed on 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 the uh, Savinelli. Yeah. And um you made a good choice there. And I, I think I, I think I when 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 I chose this one, I said to you, this is the one. I think didn't it was I? the quickest one you looked at because we looked at a couple, didn't you? And you was like, Oh, don't mind this, this is okay. As soon yeah. as I handed that to you, you went, Yeah, yeah, that's the one. And 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 also it helped because you showed me yours, yeah, and and it kind of I thought, oh right, okay, I get it. Yeah. I get it, you know. I get what 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 it is that I'm I'm looking for. I get the, I get the um, you know the the kind of the bowl size that I'm looking, you know, for a straight stem. Yeah. You know, and 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 I, and I think we landed on on something that's really good and well constructed and absolutely especially with Savinelli and I know we was joking around in there saying it almost feels like Ollivander's yeah but when I handed you that it's almost like the yeah. pipe chose you you put yeah. it in your hand and you just went yes no I, 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 <laughs> absolutely absolutely and I think that's what we were talking before about how the you know how the pipe is an expression of your personality yeah and uh, and, and so that's why it cho cho chooses you it speaks to you yeah and and that, uh, and that is really that's really important. It is because if the pipe doesn't speak for you, then it's not. You know, it, it's almost like you're forcing it, and and uh, that's not what. It's not what it's. That's about. not what it's about. That's not what smoking cigars is about. That's not what you know. It's definitely not what smoking a pipe's about. Absolutely. So I'm um. I'm really excited to get into this, well, and we have a fine selection here beautiful selection here so we'll uh we'll go through some of it let you have a smell let you choose what kind of blend you want to go for and then uh, we'll go from there personally i'm going to go straight in with the galton and hogarth balkan mix now this isn't an aromatic blend so aromatic which clues kind of in the title is flavored with something so you yeah something sweeter like cherry vanilla chocolate yeah vodka. yeah sometimes you do just get a nice solid standard mix of tobacco which this oh yeah i can smell that straight away it straight away yeah so it's gonna yeah. be it'll be a bit stronger compared to some of the other ones it, we got here almost i don't know whether the, you're getting this but it almost smells like barbecue it literally you smells know, like bonfire and that'll be the latter but, here, but that's in it. yeah 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 but not like um not like holy kind of barbecue but like um like barbecue sauce almost <laughs> it does doesn't it it does a bit. Is it? Like, yeah. Now I'm smelling it again. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 That's what I get. I get the kind of the sweetness of, of barbecue sauce, 
And I would have never have thought you could get that, but th- there you go. So I brought this one out, which normally you had a bit of a whiff earlier. Don't want to get your head completely in it. Is the uh, straight up Latakia. Now, a lot of people don't normally just smoke this straight up. I'm sure there are some hard knocks out there. That <laughs> Good luck, your palate and your mouth, because I-, I wouldn't want it. But normally someone will take, say, that Balkan mixture and they'll smoke it. If it's not as hearty as they want it to be, or it's not spicy as they want it to be, they'll get some of the Latakia mm-hmm. and they'll just mix that in. Yeah, with the blend just to bring the yeah. the bodiness up for it. Or if you've got like a medium body blend and you want to bring up that full body a bit more like a cigar, yeah, you can mix some of the bulk and mix in. But that is just it's like <laughs> yeah, I was it, joking saying it's like smelling salt. <laughs> it's like a mixture of I don't know that you get this. It's like first of all, it's like burning. In yeah, in salt. but but it's but like but it's also well. also like. I don't know. Do you get this? It's like licorice. Yes. So it's like it's like burnt Absolutely. licorice. And so, you know, but I'd be I would be interested to see how that could elevate or change, you know, one of these other tobaccos. Well, say what when when you go, we'll, we'll give you a little sample pouch of that. Yeah. And next time you're smoking, so you smoke a blend by itself. Then next time, put a little bit of the latakia in it, yeah, and see how much it brings yeah. that that yeah. bodiness up. We've got the American black cherry, one of my personal favourites. So this is an aromatic blend, as the clues in yeah. the title. Really sweet, almost smells like play doh. Pick a mix. Oh yeah, I get um, starburst. Starburst. It's got a beautiful blend of tobacco juniors, which is the lighter, which we'll go into when we uh, yeah, okay, but. And I definitely get that play doughy yeah. smell um, as well, which is really interesting. It's so interesting how this, you know. But you see what I mean when I say people think tobacco is tobacco. Yeah. That doesn't smell like any cigar. You know, you're no. never smoking. No, it like... doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> we got a, and you know what the interesting thing is? I don't think I would smoke that cigar. If there was no. a cigar that smelt like one of those things or tasted like one of those things i don't think i would be drawn to it so you're not really an infused cigar kind of N- no not not really but but the, the the pipe world opens all these up absolutely you know they're like they're, like a, they're the best kind of dessert yeah 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 <laughs> we have a rum and maple by a company called century oh yes so very syrupy very sweet. That's a very mm. sweet blend. I'm getting um like Christmas pudding. Yes, absolutely. Another personal favorite of ours here. But my personal favorite, and if I could only smoke one pipe tobacco for the rest of my life, is the Gareth and Hogar Spirit of Scotland. Now, the beautiful thing they do with this is they soak some of it in whiskey. Oh, wow. <laughs> And you'll definitely get that. On the, you instantly, you instantly smell it as soon as the box is open. Oh yeah, yeah. If I could only smoke one tobacco for the rest of my life, that's, that's be really that's, like, that's really probably good. Going to be the one I'm going to go for because burns beautifully. Not really much spice, but it's got a kind of a little bit of a balanced. It definitely tastes like the whiskey. Yeah, but you don't then lose the taste of tobacco because we love the taste of tobacco obviously being cigar smokers just because it's aromatic doesn't yeah. mean you lose that taste there's some aromatic blends you can there's yeah. one called um i'll get you to smell it it's on the shelf in there sutliff dark velvet and it's like smoke and chocolate fudge cake and it tastes like it it doesn't taste like tobacco in the slightest where yeah. that doesn't compromise the taste of good tobacco yeah. and then finally again from gareth and hogarth they make some of the best tobaccos we got coffee and caramel. Oh. And I picked this because as soon as you came in, you went, I'll have a caramel latte. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I thought you'd appreciate a, a coffee and caramel blend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like Starbucks in a jar. Yeah. Yeah, a definite coffee. And um, I'm sure the caramel would come through in the... You'll definitely get a sweetness. Yeah. Yeah. So the question is... Which one would you like to smoke? <laughs> now, I uh, I think 
possibly I'm most drawn to, drawn to the rum and maple yeah. or the American whiskey. But I'm going to smoke whatever you want to smoke. So I okay, yeah. so I think the rum and maple. Yeah, and maple. Absolutely. Well, I've never actually had that one yet. Okay, well, then so that, it's a good journey. Well, then that's as well. good. Perfect. So for the first time ever. Yes. I'm also going to smoke my Savinelli, which they aren't endorsing this video. <laughs> but I am a very strong believer. And just so the just so the, the viewer is, is is aware, I had I, I I could basically pick anything. James showed me through the lot, uh, and and you know I was restricted at all in what my choice. But this was my my choice. Uh, you know, unrestricted, and you know I was I like I said. I was drawn to it and you know it's it's perfect and and very beautiful. It's got this lovely, I'm sure you can get some close-ups of it. Yeah, we'll a lot of close-ups during um, this video. It's it's got this lovely kind of green band um coming down to the bowl. And then this this uh what do what's this um it's kind like of sandblasted, like a rusty yeah. sandblast. So, so it's sandblasted as well, and, and the wood is 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 marvelous. Dark but also light at the same time, and it. I imagine, depending on the lighting conditions, it would look different. You know, it's that kind of it's that kind of of uh, finish. It's um, not like a one solid color, is it? It's no, you can look no, at no. So many different angles. It's different, not. So th there's there's so much. Light. There's so much to pick out. Um, there's so much to pick out of it. Um, but it's really well balanced. Um, slightly larger bowl um, because, as James said to me when I was picking it, you know, if you want to smoke for um, a shorter amount of time, you just put less tobacco in. Um, but if you want to smoke for longer than you can, um, and so correct me if I'm wrong, but you said that I could get uh, probably up to 40 minutes. Yeah, you could easily get 40 minutes out of that bowl. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, my, mine's slightly larger, and I can get about an hour. So yeah. you could easily get, you could probably push it to 45, 50 if you were smoking slow enough. You yeah. could easily get 50 minutes to an hour out with it. I'm a, I'm a very quick smoker, yeah. so I go through the bowl really fast. But yeah, if you definitely took your time with it, you could you could probably push it to an hour if you really wanted to. Now, this is the, this is the test. I've only just unboxed this. And so this is the first time I will be able to tell you how it feels in the mouth. Mm. Yeah. You can hear the airflow. I don't know whether the, the, the yeah. microphones might not pick that up, but you can literally hear how natural the airflow is. And this is why I said you going with Savinelli. They almost tick all the boxes. The construction is phenomenal. Mm. If you look after your Savinelli, the Savinelli will look after you, but they also look amazing. Yes, they I do. Some some pipes, and I won't mention names because all pipes are good pipes. But sometimes they can look amazing, but the construction isn't great. Or some can have amazing construction, but they don't look great. Where Salmonelli kind of tick everything. Yeah, and and the, what I've learned from what I've learned from cigar smoking is that you know take advice, right? Take advice and be comfortable enough to ask questions right yeah and, and and what you were telling me all about the the construction and the importance of finding a a pipe with a good construction you know and 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 and, and so that's why i would i would suggest you know coming to smoke king and getting some advice you know on if if this is your first time like it's my first time you know, then then come smoking and get some advice because otherwise, you know, you you could find that you were, you know, kind of led down the wrong path. When actually, if you start off strong, you'll finish off strong. You know, so get the foundations to success. Yeah, yeah, you give yourself the best possible chance to enjoy what it is you're doing, whether that's you know, whether that's pipe smoking, cigar smoking, you know you know spirits drinking or whatever yep. whatever your hobby is you know 
But if you if you have the right advice and the right foundations, you you won't go wrong. Yeah, uh, and, and I can't wait to get get some of the we'll rum, have, we'll get have, some of we'll the have, rum and maple. Well, we said we've got a few freebies and stuff for you so you have your proper oh thank you very monitor. much we've also got you a very nice pipe tool which and i'll go through the importance of how why yeah please need a pipe tool although please do the older generations kind of take the mick out of you and say oh we used to use that thumb back in the day we have delicate hands i'd rather use the tool yeah why would i choose to hurt my thumb <laughs> <laughs> But the great thing about this one is beautiful. It's actually in the shape of a pipe. Oh, wow. It's so brilliant. <laughs> You've got your two it, cleaning tools as well. It's it's marvellous. Cleaning as well. Yeah. So. Thank you very much. The We've also got your cigar stand as well. Not cigar stand. Pipe, pipe stand. stand. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you want to use it. Old habits die hard, guy. <laughs> Old habits die hard. So just in case you need it. Oh, that's that's very nice, isn't it? You can sit your pipe in there, but it's, it it's, won't go anywhere. It sort of reminds me of an SD de Pont, um, you know, the yeah. cutters that are also um, the cigar stands. Yeah. It reminds me, it reminds me of that. But the advantage is no cutting needed. Just uh... well, this is where it gets awkward. This is this this is the part of pipe smoking which. A lot of people get wrong, and I think this is where a lot of people fall out of love with the pipe smoking, mm. especially if you're going from cigars to pipes. How you pack your bowl is probably the most important thing yeah. you can do with smoking pipes. It's more important than picking your pipe, smoking it, lighting it. How you pack your bowl is cr yeah. crucial to success. Yeah. So what you need to do is you take your bowl, and you, we're going to split it into thirds. Yeah. So you've got your bottom third, your centre, and then you've got the top of the bowl. Now, you want a different tension of tobacco in each section yeah. of the bottom. I always say the bottom, because you want to be able to draw airflow through it nicely, it's like shaking hands with a baby. You want it nice and loose, just sprinkled in the bottom. Centre is where we use our tool and we push it down ever so slightly. And the top one is when we can push it all down. So now, create that different do, we light, do we light in between or do we just... We light it after. Okay. So, and the, the best thing to do with pot is instead of cramming it all in, is do a little pinch. Okay, so at a time. So what, about, like about a pinch, about that much. Perfect. About that much. About that much. And you're just going to sprinkle it in, and at this point, you can use your finger because obviously nothing's lit. <laughs> yes. And sometimes you just want a little bit, maybe another pinch, and push it right down to the bottom until you've got about that much of your bowl full. So, All right. There we go. Push it right down. I'm nice and loose. I'm making a mess. That's fine. You are. I'm making a mess. <laughs> now, normally, when I'm going up between each level, I'll do a draw. Right. So I can tell I haven't plugged the button. So mine's still nice and open. You might be able to taste a little bit of the tobacco already. Like a dry, dry like draw. Like a dry draw. And it's like, see, there is characteristics, very similar characteristics. Yeah, that's, that's, that's drawing quite nicely, actually. Yeah. So then we'll go for the next level. Another pinch. And is this a bigger pinch or the same size? The same or? size. It, it, it's better to not rush and to get it right. Yeah. That's where I can get it. Now, this is where getting the right tension. So this is where you use your tampering tool at the bottom. Okay. And you're just going to push slightly, ever so slightly. Not, we're not cramming it all the way down, just so we get a nice flat. You're just packing surface. it. Packing it. Yeah, packing it down like that. Exactly. Okay. Now, I, I haven't used very much force. That's so one. you don't want too much force in that one. Shall I take another? Take another dry draw. So you make sure you uh No. You should feel the draw should be a little bit tighter, but it shouldn't be plugged. It's definitely drawing. Yeah. Um, I, I would say the draw's probably the same as it was before. That's fine. Is that okay? Yeah, that's absolutely no problem. We we'll go for our final pinch. Just as the rain hits. Oh, it's a good job we got this, haven't it? <laughs> Now, I do remember in one of your videos, you advised against what I'm currently doing. <laughs> but I, I, uh, uh, oh, that's far, far too much. And put that in there. Yeah, we, we are. And that's when you get your pipe tool again. And this time again, we're still not cramming it all the way down, but you're going to apply a little bit more pressure compared yeah. to what we did on the second layer. Getting all that tobacco in there nice and 
So I've definitely so been wanting to be just below the bowl like that. I've definitely Perfect. been more firm with that this time. We'll try the draw again. Try the draw. Mine's nice and open. Brilliant. Perfect. Yep. Unto lighting. You got your pipe lighter, and this is why I recommend this everyone to get a pipe lighter. Because the beautiful thing is, it comes out at a right angle. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't burn your fingers when you're lighting yeah. your pipe. And also, I I generally um I generally struggle with matches. I do like, yeah. I, can, I, I, I like matches, but I struggle with them. Yeah. Especially considering that my so my left hand's not very good for context. Um, and and so um, I generally find lighters easier. And uh, it's an ingenious idea to have a lighter that comes out at, the, at a right angle. Um, and so, so, so which pipe lighter have we got here? Because we've got the same one. Oh, I've got a. I've got two different. It looked like the, the same one. <laughs> you've got the Andy. Um, they're very similar. Same the kind Andy. of things. The Andy, it's called. So we'll leave a link in the description below for you to go check out the pipe lighter. And so, how do, how do you? How, oh, I was holding it the wrong way. Yeah, don't hold <laughs> it the other way. <laughs> so, yeah, it hold it the feel. right. Hold it the right way, guys. Don't. Uh, it doesn't help how windy it is out here to yeah. blow them straight out. But lighting your pipe, people think you just light it once and it's done. It actually takes two to three attempts okay. to, light, to light your pipe. So what the first attempt is, is you basically want to get a char of ash. Along a bit the like top. toasting the foot of a cigar. Almost like toasting the foot of a cigar before you purge it. So you're going to take a couple of drawers in whilst holding the flame to the top. Right. And you want to make sure you're keeping that flame and that lighter circling and moving. Because the last thing you want to do is start burning hole for the inside so like so and you'll notice when you're taking two or three puffs on the pipe mm. the flame is drawn down do well, i have to draw while lighting so you do have to draw while lighting but if you look down you should see a little bit of char and a little bit yeah. of ash and the thing with pipe tobacco when heat is applied it naturally rises up the bulk right so what we need to do now is push the tobacco back down. Oh, I see. Okay. And then we go for the second light. And that's where your, your tampering tool comes into it. So again, we're not applying loads of pressure and pushing it down to the bottom, but just prodding it down. Because what we want to do, the whole point is we're trying to create a layer of ash on the top that is constantly touching the tobaccos below. So yeah. The pieces back, tobaccos below, lit. If there's an air gap between the char and the tobacco, you're not going to get any drop. Mm. There we go. So let's get a bit more smoke through it. Yeah. So now I'm seeing uh, it burning a bit more. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a bit more ash. So until you can see where you can see little bits where I've missed the light and you can still see yeah, it's, it's the same with tobacco. Me. So you just do the same process again and you just keep doing that until you get a nice thin layer of ash on top and you just keep repeating the process. And it's really sad, I think. That there are some people who would find this, you know, would find it so unappealing that it would put them off. I mean, because I I find that the relighting, you know, is is you know, is all part of it, and it makes it what it is. It gives it character, and it gives it. It's part of the you know ritual. the ritual. Yeah, exactly. That's what that's what I'm looking for. Now with a pipe, or like a cigar, that's brilliant. You want to take a puff on it every ten to fifteen seconds. Whereas cigars only about every sixty seconds. Ten to fifteen seconds. Yeah. So do we tamp it again, or if it's still going, I've managed to get mine going. Looks like yours is going. The thing is, though, pipes will go out. Yeah, they will constantly go out. It's one of those things again. It adds to the process of smoking a pipe but it's just it's all but that's one of the main reasons people give up on it there you go now you've got it going now we've got a good that good a volume good of smoke so yeah about every 10 seconds okay keep it going and that's why you always hold it in your teeth yeah. That's really sweet. It's almost like it's really good. <laughs> and you know what? You can actually taste 
you can actually taste what, what you smell, which is really good. Um, it's you know, it's really, it's really interesting. It's, uh, it's um, and unique. You see what I mean when I said it? It's nothing at all like cigar smoking. It's almost two completely different, beautiful things where people just think got, of the exact same thing. To remember to keep the bowl up, right? <laughs> So the, the one thing that I, uh, I've uh, done it once or twice is you forget you've got it in your mouth and you blow through it and the tobacco ends up shooting up like a volcano at the bottom of your pipe. How does it do that? You blow down the pipe. So if I'm oh. working, I've got my pipe on my way. And I just go. It's... And you end up wearing half of your ash. There we have it. He is officially a pipe smoker. Welcome to the dark side. It's re- <laughs> it's really good, and and you know what? I I'm getting all the flavour. Um, I like that I can smoke it more regularly. Yep. I like that I can do that. I'm puffing it, but it's, it pipes are perfect for quick smokers, and this is why I get on so well with it. Obviously, some people are really slow smokers when it comes to cigars. If anything, I smoke a cigar too hot, and I always get bad coning. Sometimes I get some bad construction. But can you see what I mean now that you have to earn your pipe? It might take you 10, 15 minutes to get the thing lit, and then you're only puffing it for two or three minutes, and it goes out, so you've got to relight it again. I think people just need to find the beauty in it instead of looking at every well, yeah. burden. It's like keeping a campfire going. Sometimes you need to add a plywood to it. Sometimes you need to take... You have to work at it. I think that's what adds to the beauty of pipe smoking. But no one's rushing, right? Me and James are sitting here and and we're smoking. It's fine, you know? If I need to take a few seconds out of our conversation to relight, it's fine. You know? what it is. And that's the beauty of it is it's not like any other smoking habit it is all about just sitting back good conversation enjoying the same yeah and, and thing it doesn't matter if we have to sit we sit here and it's just about enjoying the moment it's like a dedication to time and i really like that you can smoke it more regularly but unlike a cigarette it's a social thing now, no, 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 I've smoked cigarettes. There's absolutely no judgment. There's no judgment. I used to smoke cigarettes many years ago. But I think we can all agree that cigarettes aren't necessarily as much of a social activity as pipes. Absolutely. I, I think, and even when they are, it's normally in the wrong context. It's only really a social thing if you're in a beer garden, you're all really drunk and where we have we don't have to have a drop of alcohol at all we haven't we're just sat in here and we're enjoying each other's company we're enjoying the company of the pipe with great tobaccos and enjoying the finer things definitely and and you really do you really do get a sense of of enjoying the the finer things when you're smoking a pipe and you know well I th- I think the thing is as well is that I should say for the viewer, um, this um pipe. So I'll just talk about the pipe for Absolutely. a little bit. It's really well balanced. Now it might I I might make it look unbalanced, but that's because that's because I can't really hold it. I can't really hold it with my left hand properly. But it is an incredibly well balanced pipe. Um. I think you're mastering it quickly. The you draw might need to tamper that down with that much oh, airflow. Yeah. The the draw is is brilliant. Uh, uh, now, James, let me ask you: yeah. with the draw, should we expect the draw to change as as we smoke it or not? No. If you've, and this is why I was saying that the how you pack your bowl is so crucial. Because if you pack it correctly, your tobaccos will move around. You know, like I said, your tobacco naturally rises. So this is why I just had to tamper it down. You just had to tamper it down. So if anything, it won't get tighter. If anything, it will get looser. 
Mm. And when you feel the draw get looser, that's when you know you need to tamper the tobacco down. Yeah. But what I'd also like to point out for people who are watching is you're smoking that without a filter. Now, pipes you do come with filters. There is one in your box if you wanted to use it. I personally choose not to. And I felt like you probably wouldn't use it because you're a cigar smoker. Yeah. You're used to large quantities of smoke in your mouth and you're used to bitterness and spices and all those kind of flavors in your mouth. Now, a filter will sit in this little bit of the stem here, especially on the Savinelli's. And it basically, well, it'll filter it. It dulls down all the taste. So you still get a bit of it, but you wouldn't get as much as the syrup and the caramel yeah. that we're getting. And it's and an amazing, it's an amazing it. taste. What I'm currently getting is I'm getting rum. Very rum-like. And, and... Uh, you notice the smoke is smoother compared to a cigar. Like yeah. I can take an entire mouthful of smoke straight out my nose with a pipe. I, I no can. No burn. I can. At all. Where with a cigar, you get a little bit of a burn in the nose, a little bit of burn in your cheeks a bit. With a pipe, you can take the entire mouth out yeah. of your nose and it's just as smooth as anything. And the beautiful thing with with pipe tobacco, especially in the UK, one is stupidly affordable, and the possibilities are literally endless. There's so many different aromatic blends, and you know you could go straight into this Balkan mix, and it's the complete polar opposite to what we're smoking now. What you'll get something nice and sweet here will be nice and spicy, a bit full body, a bit peppery. Yeah, the possibilities are endless. Where I think sometimes with certain cigars, they can start. If you stick to a certain origin of tobacco, like Nicaragua, and they've all got similar characteristics, yeah. where white tobacco, you can smoke the same tobacco from the same place, and it tastes completely different to each other. So now I'm starting to feel the bowl warm up. Is that normal? Yeah. Or normal. does it mean I'm smoking it too fast? Sometimes they can get... Re so the bowl will naturally warm up. It yeah. is wood, and we have got a fire going at the end of the day, so it will warm up. If it gets to the point where you're struggling to hold it, then yes, you're puffing on it too much. Another thing of what that can be as well is you could have too much tobacco compressed down into it. And this is why, again, why I was saying to you earlier when you're packing it, do small little pinches. And so and how build it up. and so how do you deal with that? That is where your pipe tool comes into it. So if you did start smoking it and it was a bit plugged, you're gonna have to move the tobacco around a little bit. And that's where you have spike, and on yours it's on this side. Okay. And essentially, can use so, that section to so, move the tobacco around a bit, or you can poke a hole straight through the middle just to create the yeah. airflow through. Yeah. So that's that's the importance of that bit. So there's been a few times I smoked it, I might have tampered it in a bit too hard, and there's draw, and you kind of like put your finger in. You can take that, and you just want to, I normally run a hole straight through the center, and it creates the airflow again, or you can move it, the tobacco around a little bit and try and almost reset where you've tampered that tobacco down. I, I I feel I feel very sorry for the viewer, James, because we're 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 we're, uh, we're enjoying uh, we're enjoying the same brand of pipe, the same tobacco. They could have almost endorsed it, <laughs> and and it almost seems like a match made in heaven. So that's why I feel sorry for the viewer on the basis that they don't get to join us. And even though we're sat outside. There's still that aroma in the air from the smoke. Yeah. It smells, and we've got a big open side to the gazebo to the left here for the air smoke to, uh, to escape. And it still smells beautiful under here. But you made a good choice of that tobacco. That is absolutely beautiful. A little bit of spice, the more down. The one thing that you'll notice as well with uh, aromatic blends, and the viewer might notice this as well if they're a pipe smoker at home, is the aromatic flavoring that you're getting in this case the rum and maple might start fading away the closer down you get yeah because it's burning hotter it might burn that way and you'll just get straight to tobacco there's a nice little spice coming into it because we'll be roughly coming up to halfway down the bowl at this point and i like how accessible pipe smoking is you know now you could be anywhere doing this right and obviously for some ungodly reason you can't smoke inside but um <laughs> but uk government um <laughs> but r laws aside you could do this anywhere Absolutely. you know and 
in that's one of the things I find slightly prohibitive about cigars is that is that if your circumstances don't match up with the you know the the, the size of the cigar you know or you know or something like that you find it can be quite prohibitive you know uh you know if Absolutely. if you don't have the luxury of smoking indoors um you know if it you know if it's not allowed where you live then you're going to have to smoke outside or you're going to have to find somewhere where you can smoke and um sometimes that might make certain cigars um of the lar- of larger um vitolas um Absolutely. inaccessible whereas a pipes i don't imagine you'd have that problem uh in the in quite the same way obviously you can't smoke a pipe inside i'm not suggesting that it changes the law <laughs> but what i am suggesting is that um is that actually it will the the luxury of the choice you know you can pack your your pipe your own way you can pack it as full or as light as you want. And so really it's very accessible. You know, if you're somewhere, you know, with good weather and, you know, maybe a few drinks and things like that, you can, you know, you can pack it full and you can sit there. Now we're having to relight these, but I mean, I, I, I think we're both perfectly comfortable, Absolutely. you know, uh, part of the and you can, you, and you can you can smoke them anywhere really mm. and the one thing you'll notice about pipe smoking is you ne- you you might pass some judgment when smoking cigars some people might go oh look at them smoking nine times out of ten i if i'm smoking my pipe in public the amount of comments that you receive the amount of people that come up to me and go oh, that smells beautiful my granddad used to smoke a pipe, yeah or my dad used to smoke a pipe oh, that smells beautiful, what have you got in there? Where sometimes, because a lot of the time, especially if you're an aromatic smoker and you like the aromatic blends, it puts a sweetness in the air, so it's not harsh. But sometimes, cigar smoke, the the smell can be sometimes, it's almost like my mind, you love it or you hate it. My wife loves the smell of cigar smoke, but my mom hates it. I love love the smell of... (laughs) Well, I'm a bad example because I just love the smell of smoke in general. I'm the same. But exactly the same. I, I particularly like the smell of cigar smoke. And actually, this pipe smoke is extraordinary. It's going to sit in your clothes and it's going to smell beautiful. Mm. You'll leave in an hour or two's time. We'll go by and you're, like, and it's just, you're almost like reliving. But it won't smell like smoke. It will smell like, like the, the sweetness and the, and the, the flavor. flavor. The yeah. flavor. It won't smell like you've been sitting in a bonfire. You know, depends on what you're smoking. You light up that latter gear, it might <laughs> it might smell like you've been sat in a bonfire, but it's a it's it's a lot sweeter. And it's a not it's not harsh on the nose. I've never really been past judgment smoking a pipe in public, and because the the smoke is normally a lot thinner, it disperses really quickly. Mm. It is now. You could probably catch this on on the video. We're blowing the smoke out, and it's just it's gone. Where sometimes cigar smoke can linger. It is thicker. Well, like, people can inhale it and yeah. get it on their chest. You I, won't get I, it. I, I've sat, I've sat in, I've sat in some cigar lounges where you're, you, you are sat in a sea of smoke. Mm-hmm. It, uh, I, I don't mind that, but some people do. But this is very inoffensive. Absolutely, you know? and because the smoke is so thin, most people it won't go to their chest. It's not going to make the people sitting around you cough and choke it's good because mm. it's very thin it's not as dense this is not a good advertisement for my interviews we're normally more prepared i think we've gone for a very laid back approach we've taken the the pipe smoking motto of being laid back and chilled <laughs> to the next level i think so james let's talk about pairings absolutely <laughs> the one thing the pairings we're gonna be here for the next couple of hours i think well, good. <laughs> we'll refill the bowl. Well, the pairings is I I always find it's it, for me it's easier to find a pairing for pipe tobacco than it is a cigar. Yeah, because cigar flavouring that normally is a lot harsher. It's a lot spicier. So you have to 
think long and hard because the wrong pairing with the, with the, the cigar can ruin the whole experience. I'm still yet to find a drinks pairing that hasn't paired well with the pipe tobacco because it's not as hot. Rum, obviously. But well, there's there's rum and maple in this, so rum's, of, of course, going to go hand in hand. Well, yeah. Sm- smoking rum. Smoke King's rum would go beautifully hand in hand with this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but my normally my favourite is a coffee. I love sitting back with a coffee and a pipe. I think it just goes hand in hand. With it. Yeah. And the one I found recently... And it's only because it was the last thing I had in my house before going to shopping. It's cream soda. Really? Oh, cream yeah. soda. I had cream soda and I was smoking the coffee and caramel, which was just taken away from us by Christine, another mention. But that paired beautifully with cream soda. Now I've always got it stuck to my house. Yeah. Whenever I smoke that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm uh, really enjoying this for everyone watching at home. You know, this is this is really uh, this is really good. And um, who knows, James? Perhaps at some point in the future we might do a a pipe smokers event as an exclusive. There's going to be a few pipe smoking events next year. Oh, really? As an exclusive, you heard it here first. Now there's going to be quite a few next year. Viewers, James did not tell me that before. I offered it as an idea. I'm hearing it as, as the first time as you are. So, mm-hmm. no, they've already planned. We've got a great idea for an event specifically aimed at cigar smokers mm. because it's crazy how many cigar smokers dabble in a pipe, get the fundamentals wrong, but whether it's your lighting, your packing, finding the right pipe, finding the right tobaccos, whatever it is. And they'll give it one or two tries and they put it down and they never smoke it again. I know so many cigar smokers that own a pipe and never use it. They hate it. So we're going to do an event aimed at those people and we'll bring you in and we'll provide the tobaccos and we'll convert you like we've done with you today mm. from being a cigar only. to a Well, I, I, absolutely. And, you know, I think that's the thing. I would love to, I would love to go, come to those events and, and, and speak to somebody who had had never smoked a pipe and say, look, just a short while ago, I was in your exact same position. Absolutely. Um, But also what you were just saying there reminded me of something. And that was, let me tell you about the first time I smoked a cigar. So I decided I made the monumental decision that I was going to smoke a cigar. I hadn't smoked a cigar before. I'd only smoked cigarettes. And so I, w- I was in London and I went to I went to Davidoff and I said, look, I've never smoked a cigar before. Uh, what would you recommend? And the they have good staff there at Davidoff. Great stuff. Um, and I, I think, James, you know them a, a, a mm-hmm. bit. And I, 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 I've uh, I've met Eddie Sahakian, who's lovely um, a, a really. lovely, lovely man. Really lovely. Um, I haven't met Edward. I've, he's even more gentler and lovely than Eddie. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, there's not a bad bone in that man's body. But um, so the whole team there are really good, really knowledgeable. But I was, I, I was, you know, and so they cut it for me and they gave me some matches and I went across the road to Franco's. Um, mm-hmm. It's outside. Now, I didn't really know what I was doing, and I, and I, and I, I was puffing away at it too quickly, yeah. you know, and 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 you know, things like that, and and by halfway through, you know, and I hadn't eaten, and and and, and you know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know, uh, and so halfway through, you know, my head was spinning. But that wasn't because of the cigar or or the advice. It was because I hadn't done it. Correct. It was my my own fault. But I knew that I liked the experience. Even though my head was spinning, <laughs> I knew that I liked the experience. I yeah. knew that I liked holding a cigar and, and smoking a cigar and feeling the cigar in my mouth. And and I enjoyed the taste. Yeah. You know, I don't know whether you've smoked it, but the, my first cigar was a La Artista Puro Umbar. Not particularly tried that one. I've heard of it. Um, yeah. Um, so, the, so that was my first cigar. 
and um and which i haven't had since interestingly enough i should go back and try it revisit your first revisit revisit it now that i've you know smoked hundreds if not thousands of cigars since it's it's i did that after five years of smoking cigars i went back and smoked my first one which which was your what was your first cigar the davidoff winston churchill bellicuso oh yeah and i went back five years later and obviously my palate's more defined i'm doing it properly full time i was doing cigar shack at the time that i mean and it's it's crazy to see how far your palate's come I definitely recommend it. Go back and and smoke the first cigar. And if you're watching at home, go back and smoke the first cigar you ever smoked. It's a real experience. But I knew, and, and and that's exactly, you know what 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 I, I I knew at the time that that's what I wanted to do. Uh, that I wanted to continue to have this experience. Yeah. You know. And you feel the same about the pipe. Hmm. Now that you're enjoying it? Well, this, I feel exactly the same, but better because I'm enjoying this. My head isn't spinning. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable. Um, I have eaten. Thank you, James. <laughs> um, that pizza was a bit questionable that you ordered, but yeah. <laughs> I seem to have inadvertently ordered the, uh, the spiciest pizza on the menu which and, and we like spice but but we, that was that was a bit heavy that was a bit, a bit chilly too heavy much. <laughs> um, a bit too much. so what i'm saying to the viewer is that i am comfortable and you know i think that all of the things that i haven't yet worked out all of the things that i maybe you know i'm a little bit unsure on about pipe smoking you know that will work itself out in time. It, you know, it is. it's it's a learning curve. You will never ever, and I think this is what a lot of people think you're going to get because so, if you get the right advice ahead of time, you can with cigars. You can just pick one up. You can know how to cut it. You can light it. You can enjoy it. Where pipe smoking is it is a learning curve. It's learning to get that tobacco packed in correctly. It's you almost have to create like a muscle memory flow. And this is why I'm some I might not have necessarily relit my pipe as much as you because I've been smoking pipes for nearly five years now. You create that muscle memory. As long as you've got the fundamentals right, you know how to pack the bowl, you know how to correctly light it, taking three or four attempts. Yeah. You know how the pipe tool works. And I'll teach you in a minute because I finished my bowl. We'll teach you in a minute how to use it to clean it. Everything else comes with time. And it comes with patience. I think if you don't have the patience to allow it to come in time then pipe smoking you probably don't have the patience for pipe smoking yeah because it is about taking things slow but you know what it's such a pleasant allowing fail it's such a pleasant experience i would recommend it to anyone um seek advice you know that's what i would say get in touch with smoking you know you can literally shoot us a dm on social media and it's me that answers all our social media dms yeah I'll even jump on a call with you, a video call with you and help you if that's what it takes. I'd yeah. rather educate people correctly so you can enjoy the products that we love so much. And, 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 you know, that's why I can say that to the viewer, because I know that that's what you would do. You know, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I've got no affiliation with smoking professionally. I, I, I buy my cigars here. I come to your events, yep. but I've no, I've got no, no skin in the game financially or professionally. I would love to work here, by the way, but I don't. Um, I'm so I'm not obliged to say certain things or make it out like it is a, a way it isn't. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, you know, from a consumer point of view, I can tell you what they what smoking will do. Because I am a consumer, that's all I am. Yeah. I, you know, I, I, I buy my cigars here, I smoke them, and I will definitely buy some pipe tobacco. <laughs> um, <laughs> from you. to choose from. <laughs> Let me tell you the Jeremy Brett story. So, so Jeremy Brett had never. I don't know whether I 
told you this in the introduction, but I've subsequently forgotten, so I'll say it again. And if I mentioned it in the introduction, James will probably cut it out. Um, <laughs> uh, the powers of editing, people. <laughs> 21st century. <laughs> Hurrah. Um, Jeremy Brett had never smoked a pipe. He'd smoked cigarettes. Yep. He'd never smoked a pipe. And his brother was a, a pipe smoker and taught him how to smoke a pipe for the role. Yeah. And uh and he um yeah, then then you know, then smoked a pipe consistently throughout the whole of the the Granada series of the Sherlock Holmes stories, which is arguably the most complete and well done um adaptation of the Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Um stories we won't we won't talk about um robert downey jr <laughs> sherlock holmes um no um i mean i mean they're all good they're all good in their own way but i think i think jeremy brett epitomized the role and then it's it and 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 it's also interesting you know seeing how important pipes were to that whole process so he even went as far as because um the illustrator for the original um works by sir arthur conan doyle had depicted sherlock holmes as, as a right-handed individual so yeah. he always had the pipe in in his right hand jeremy brett learned how to smoke a pipe with his right hand so that's some dedication to the role ladies and gentlemen <laughs> But um, yeah, and 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 I I I just I I think that story is good because he was taught by his brother, a pipe smoker, um, who who took real time care and attention in making sure that Jeremy Brett smoked the pipe properly, yeah. and he did, and he did. You can see him lighting filling you know there's the famous um tobacco slipper which i don't think which i don't think i will uh em employ as a uh as a, as a storage <laughs> method but it's you yeah, know it's it's in <laughs> interesting to see on that subject storing pipe tobacco yep how do you do it there's there's plenty of different ways you can do it is it's not as tedious as storing cigars you know you don't necessarily always have to keep it in a humidified humidor and all that kind of stuff when in doubt you get an airtight jar and that's what we have with these they're perfectly airtight jars you obviously don't have to buy as bulk as this if you want you can anything airtight great thing i use is mason jars at home but you haven't got to keep it in a humidor mason, jar. mason jars are the perfect thing for keeping your pipe tobacco in a zip seal bag, as long as it's not sat there left like that, as long as you've always got yeah something airtight on it, mm. it can be that simple. Because you don't want it too humid, otherwise it won't like. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased to hear that as someone who likes simplicity. It's the most simple way of storing tobacco. It's not like cigars; we have to have a humidor, and then the humidor has to be treated, and you have to have a hygrometer. Yeah, you have to rotate your stock every month or however you do it. You can simply put it in a mason jar, and it's done. As long as it's airtight, that's the only thing I, I, I say. Yeah. When in doubt, put it in an airtight container, jar, yeah. Tupperware, whatever you want to keep it. Yeah, you can well, that... get you can buy actual tobacco jars. Can if you? you really wanted to, you can buy them. And I think I think that's the thing, you know, everyone, everyone watching this is just like us. Right? We all like we're we're all here for a passion, right? Absolutely. And the thing with a passion, like anything, I'm philosophizing now because you know, obviously I have a pipe in my hand, so I have to you philosophize. Have to. <laughs> but the thing uh, with a passion is that it's not a burden if a passion is a burden then you fundamentally misunderstood yeah. what, what what it is that you're doing and why you're doing it absolutely i know i'm making pipe smoking look difficult 
it's not. You've picked it up quite well. I've seen some people really tank at picking up my tobacco. You know, you've got it lit, you're keeping it going. The the tension of, of the tobacco is just a learning curve. That will come with time. I, I, I have to recommend, I have to recommend to all watching, get yourself a good pipe to begin with because it's making this whole process a, a lot easier than I can imagine it would be if I didn't have such a good pipe. Absolutely. Um, and, and, and perhaps we can leave the link to this particular pipe. I can leave the link to this particular pipe. I can't leave for the tobacco, but I can for the pipe mm. that we're smoking. Because you've, you've picked a really good it's, re it's very similar to the one that I have. I have the veneer 9mm uh, 7 the sandblasted. Very, very similar. It's similar shape. The stems are the same. It's, it's a really all-round good pipe. And I smoke that three, four times a day. And I have done for the last five, six months. So it's it's a real workhorse. I really push it to its limits. Yeah. I've never had a construction issue. I've never had any burn issues. It's never been plugged. It's the easiest pipe in the world to clean. They are all-round some of the best pipes in the world. Yeah. They really are. And and so tell me about your pipe smoking journey. Tell me about, um, gosh, I'm interviewing you now. The pipe's really having an effect <laughs> on me. <laughs> My, mine started off out of pure curiosity. I visited the Havana house in Windsor. Back when I was living in the south. Yeah, my um, my my um, mum's mum lives in Windsor. It's a lovely beautiful, place. Beautiful part of town. We, me, me and the missus were always up there. And I walked in and they had a big wall of pipes. And I looked at my partner and I thought, oh, wouldn't it be really cool to have one of them one day? And she made a joke and said, yeah, in 60 years time, you old man. Yeah. I was an old man, so I enjoyed cigars as it is. And luckily, my father... Um, that year for my birthday bought me my first London briar pipe mm. from Havana House, which I fell in love with, which is a like the tabletop kind of style that we looked at earlier with the flat bottom. Absolutely beautiful. I do I still use it to this day. That's that's how high quality the pipe was. And I didn't have anyone to teach me how to smoke it. So I just failed and failed and failed and failed yeah. over and over again because I was just cramming the tobacco in the bowl, lighting it, going out. Every... I couldn't get the bowl lit. Every puff I took, I had to hold the flame. i take two or three puffs. I, had to hold... I just could not get it. And then one day something just clicked, and you'll notice it. You One day something will just click, and you won't have to relight the bowl. You'll smoke the entire bowl and won't have to relight it. Yeah. And it does, and it comes with time. But As you did. And actually, until that happened. And actually... For 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 the for the viewer, you'll be able to see that it's it's like um uh, you know almost like a before and after, isn't it? Literally, you yeah. you, you and me, it's like the, I I I think I'm a representative example of <laughs> of new pipe smokers. For instance, you know when I was when I you know we haven't been going what we going forty five minutes. Yep. Uh, I told you you'd get a good forty five, and we've been going forty five minutes. When I started, you know, I was fumbling around with holding the bowl and, you know, but now, you know, now I'm getting to grips with how I hold it in my mouth, how I, you know, yeah. negotiate with it. And everybody holds it differently. You very much hold the pipe very different to me, mm. but you, you very much cradle the pipe, but I, I'm like a sailor. I grip the entire bowl. Mm. I take the whole bowl in the palm of my hand and then I'll puff on the pipe like that, but you very much... You, you go about it like a gentleman, but it's the same. Mm. You can hold a cigar in 10 different ways. And it's but You have to find that way for the pipe to become an extension of you and it becomes part of you. It's not forced. I don't feel like I'm holding a pipe in my hand. I'm not holding anything. It's just, it's part of me. I can sit and I can talk. I can move my hands around and it's just there naturally and comfortably. And when you first pick it up, it is an awkward little kind of thing. You've got to learn how you want to hold it and, it, again, it's like we've been saying, it's a learning curve. It oh, yeah. comes with time. And I'm, you look uh, a lot more comfier smoking it now than when you first sat there and you was packing it and you was picking it up. And, you know, you're relighting it and you're tampering it so much quicker than when you first started. You're just whipping out and you're yeah. doing what you need to do. And that's exactly what I'm saying. You know, 
for everyone watching, I've literally only been smoking a pipe for 40 minutes. You know, 50 minutes, essentially. You know. And already I'm learning and already I'm enjoying it more because I'm more comfortable smoking it because I've, you know, because I, I've tried and I put the effort, you know, you put the effort in to get the first steps right. Yeah. And then the rest of it kind of takes care of itself. Setting up the perfect foundations, getting your lighting technique nailed and getting the tobacco packed correctly. That's probably the two yeah. hardest things to learn, but it's the two most important things to learn. Everything else is just... Little creases that you have to iron out, and that comes with time. And 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 we get the we get the ambiance of uh, northern rain to go <laughs> with it. See more rain in my life. I feel like we've had about nearly three seasons mm. of weather in the space of time we've sat here enjoying the uh, enjoying the pipe. James, tell me, how will I know when this is done? And that, 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 that that's a stupid question, but yeah, in. The, so, for instance, Winston Churchill always smoked his cigars down halfway, yeah, and then left the rest to actually to smoke in a pipe for his uh, for his gar- I think it was his his gardener. Yeah, um, it's expensive pipe tobacco. Very expensive pipe tobacco. Yeah. Crushed up Romeo and Julietas. <laughs> we'll have to do that for one of the videos at some point. We will. You know what? If you do that for a video, invite me. <laughs> invite me because. A, a Romeo and Julieta Churchill is possibly one of my favourite cigars. It is a fantastic cigar. I think you you purchased a few, weren't you, in the last in the July event? I think you went away with it. Yeah, I I, I um. Although the Hoyas, no, you had you picked up some Hoyas, didn't you? The Epicures. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I've I've purchased the um Churchills online. Yeah. Well, the most important answer to that question is there's, 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 there's multiple different answers. The most important one, and like smoking anything, you're done when you're done. You should never force yeah. the smoke, whether that's cigars, a pipe, whatever it is, you should never be forced. You'll notice it will start tasting a bit like charcoal and the flavour would have gone and the taste of tobacco would have gone. That's normally when you are literally just setting fire to ash. The tobacco is normally all burnt through. And more importantly, it won't relight. Mm. So by the sounds of it, you're coming to the butt with your bolts. Well, you see, I think I'm there now. But and this is what I'm I'm learning, right? Like I'm trying to relight something that you're trying to like relight ash. Yeah, which you can't do. How about how about how about have a look at that? Does it look like I'm 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 done? Absolutely. Yeah. So let's teach you how to clean it and maintain it because you absolutely your pipe, your pipe will look after you. Like I said, you look after your pipe, your pipe will look after you. Yeah. And cleaning your pipe is essential. Only really clean it once you're done with it. If you're going to reload the bowl back up and go again, it's kind of pointless cleaning out. In the... I'll just take the tobacco yeah. out, but you don't have to use pipe cleaners to clean everything out. Yeah. But this is the importance of your pipe. I always go, these pipes like that, just to lift the tobacco up and you can just... Okay, so, so on yeah. mine, this is this one, yes? This this one? That's the one. So for reference, um guys, it's the thinner one. And you just want to just move it around, just lift the tobacco. Because obviously we've been pressing the tobacco down, it'll stick to the sides, it'll stick to the bottom. Yeah. And you wanna yeah, do you want to spin that around in there, thing for you? And there we go. You wanna lift it up and you should, if you lift it up enough, just be able to turn your bowl upside down. And the majority of it will fall out. And if you have a look at the ash I've just dropped in, that's how you can tell it was done. There's not a flake of tobacco left in. Yeah. So you should just be able to, I'll put that more towards you there, be able to flip your bowl upside down and it should just come out. There you go. Yeah, so I was I was done with that. You're completely done with that. And this is why you wasn't able to relight it because there's not, there's no tobacco. You just set in fire to it. Yeah, yeah. You do have a blade in there as well. Sometimes it, it's in a shape of a spoon, as yeah, yours is very similar to mine. It's just a flat blade, yeah. And that's how you can do a little. Do we, do we go in, on the outside? In, in with that next? I go in with that next. Yeah, the black char on the inside of your bowl. You want to keep that. That's good. So it adds a layer of protection. Is it like now? Is it like seasoning almost? Yes, you're seasoning your bowl, and that's actually yeah. a term is seasoning your bowl. So you just want to use this to just gently knock off any 
ash that you might have the inside and again just there you go you're lifting up a little bit there so you shouldn't have anything in the bottom of that bowl now it doesn't look like it perfect so you're going to get your pipe tool but your pipe cleaner or your first pipe cleaner anyway and then you're going to do the same thing again but your pipe cleaner just put it on the inside of the bowl move it around soak up any leftover ash that you might have in there and if it comes out looking as dark as that, you're doing something right. <laughs> can you be very, fairly vigorous with it? You can be very uh, vigorous with the pipe cleaner because they're so soft. Yeah. Don't be vigorous with your pipe tool. Because the last thing you want to be doing is chipping away. Mine, mine looks like this. Perfect. It's just a little bit on the end. So yours is a... Uh... It might have been a few days since I've cleaned my pipes. Huh. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> you then want to get your second one? And this one is for soaking up any saliva that you might have had right. that's been stuck. You'll hear it bubbling. So you just want to push that down the end of your mouthpiece. If you push it through far enough, you'll see it coming out and you'll see it in the bottom of your bowl. Up and down, just soak up any of that saliva that you might have in there. And that is exactly why you clean the inside of your pipe lock. You know what? I might use another one that I'm yeah. just bent. Wow. I don't know if... We... Yeah, we should probably show the viewer that. What, the one from me? Yeah. We'll zoom in on that. <laughs> that is that is the great example of why you clean your pipe. Because imagine if you if I left that and I just built up on it and I built up on it and I built up on it, you're inevitably going to ruin the pipe. And, you know, these pipes aren't exactly cheap. They're, they're a good investment. No, you want to make sure you maintain I, I, the longevity. That's uh, another thing I was going to talk to you about. So I was going to say, obviously, the choice that I've made isn't a cheap choice. No. And we we spoke about, you know, making that initial investment first. But actually, this is a message for the cigar smokers of the world. If you're going to spend I mean, look, if you smoke Cuban, right, you're going to struggle to get many larger format cigars for less than, for instance, £20. So you buy, you know, two or three cigars, or God forbid, a box, you know, and you've already, you've already gone over the price of, 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 of this particular pipe. The thing is, is that if you light up this pipe, it's not going to go anywhere. As long as you look after it. Right. As long as, as, you, as, long as you look after it, which I will endeavor to do, <laughs> then it will be there. And, you know, and you can enjoy it forever in a, in a way that, you know, you can't necessarily do. But, yeah, so... <sighs> I mean, I'm, 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 I'm thinking and feeling lots of things at the minute, which I think we should run through. Go for it. Uh, you know, I, I'm very, I'm very, very pleased about how this. I, I was, I was, I was pleased to be in one of your videos anyway because I've been watching your content and it's, uh, it's marvelous stuff, and I'm sure the viewer um, will agree. I hope. Um, and. <laughs> I'm delighted about how this experience has gone. Um, you know, trying something new, uh, trying something new, unless you're one of these uber adventurous types, is always, uh, well, can can be a bit daunting. You know, whichever way, whichever way you think of it, it can be a bit daunting. Uh, you know, Absolutely. especially something that's that that's requires a lot of effort and attention, especially something that's a labour of love. But but actually, it's not unpleasant. You can pack your pipe your way. You can smoke it your way. And I think that, like like what I said about smoke, smoking my first cigar, you know, comparatively, smoking the pipe for the first time is a lot easier, for one. And also, too, the same principle applies, that it will get easier with time. Absolutely. Um, 
And then I, I think, you know, the, the the other thing I would say for anyone out there thinking, oh, well, that looks like a right faff. It's it, it's not. It's it's you know. There's obviously yes, you clean the pipe, you know, and and and, there, and there's stages to packing the pipe, but actually, it's perfectly doable. I mean, even I can do it, and I've you know, I'm, uh, I've basically only got one hand that works, <laughs> and and you know, it's perfectly fine. So, so it's really easy, and 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 cleaning the and cleaning the pipe, you know, especially if you start by cleaning it from the beginning, not at the beginning, but from the beginning after your first, um, after your first time of smoking it, you know, all my pipes have come out fairly clean. Uh, all my sorry, all my pipe cleaners <laughs> have come out fairly clean, and you know, so if you stay on top of it, it will, you know. It Absolutely. won't build up excessively. And then I, I suppose lastly, James, I want to thank you for uh um inviting me no, and for uh, and for showing me the delights. And and it is uh, I mean that it is a delight, you know, to have um the opportunity to learn how to smoke a pipe because now I will always be able to do it properly. Yeah. Much like you said. In one of your videos about cigars, you said that you said in one of your videos that you don't like to smoke a cigar if somebody has given it to you because it holds sentimental value. Yeah. I think you said that in your was it your last video or your video before? Yeah, it would. Yeah, it would, it would have been in one of my recent ones. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've got many many cigars I won't smoke. Yeah, but the thing with the the pipe. I, I I will always have this pipe, and I will always know that I got it from smoking one five seven Nilkley Road, <laughs> and uh, you know, and I I will always have it. You know, it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, you know, and I'll look after it, and I'll always know that how I got it, and and I will be able to reminisce. Everything about you, uh, about you showing me, um, but, uh, how to smoke a pipe uh, each time I like. Absolutely, well, and and that's just brilliant. Before we wrap it up, I've got a few more things to give you. Oh, <laughs> I try and keep it off camera. So obviously, we've been talking about how important it is to look after your pipe. Yeah then it's probably well off that you have a proper hard oh, travel case. Thank you, Brian. With. And I won't be cheeky, but it does hold two pipes. Oh. <laughs> so you have a nice Jean-Claude hard travel case, which I'll link in the description below. Two pipes, ladies and gentlemen. Now there's a message, <laughs> there's a message in there somewhere. And the second one's not free. <laughs> <laughs> And more importantly, we don't want you going away and having to wait for the next pipe tobacco to light up. So we've got you a sample pack of our top eight. Oh, that's brilliant. Biggest sellers. And in there is a perfect mix between aromatic blends and non-aromatic blends. So you can dabble in between the two. Most of these here are in that. The Black Cherry is definitely in there. The Vulcan mix is in there. And the Spirit of Scotland is definitely in there, which is my personal favourite. Well, so in your, I'm in, excited to find out. In what you your honour, in your honour, uh, James, I will, I will smoke the Spirit of, of Scotland um, at the next available opportunity. Absolutely. And when we see each other on on Saturday for the for the next Smoke King event, um. I shall let you know what I think of it. Thank you very much. That's no problem at all. Thank you again for coming on the channel, mate. Well, no, it's been an absolute privilege. <laughs> and uh, for anyone for anyone watching this, I'd, uh, I'd I'd recommend you get yourself get yourself over to Smoke King, uh, or or if you're further afield, then give James a DM and 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 he'll uh, sort you out. And we'll sort you out. And it's not going to be the last time you're on the channel. 
definitely not. I'll, I'll definitely the easiest do guest that. I've had on. You, you, you'll, <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll, uh, you'll have to, you, you'll have to, you'll have to, you know, put put fencing up. So. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe, maybe just build some stairs. That should do. <laughs> that, that, that should stop me. <laughs> Even then, I'd find a way up. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Of course, hit that subscribe button, enable your notifications, and we'll catch you in future videos. See you later, guys. See you later, guys.